Welcome back to my channel, Sunflower Squad. Um, today I'll be filming a get ready with me slash get to know me tag slash a little bit extra than usual. Usually when I wake up, um, the first thing I do is wash my face and brush my teeth. So that's what you guys are gonna see. I use this Himalayan Himal <laughs> Himalayan. Okay, so now I hop into the shower and guys, please don't come for me with this. I don't sleep with this on um, because it will damage your hair. It like basically dries out your hair, especially when it's natural. I sleep with a silk scarf on a silk pillowcase. I just put this on because I'm going to wear a wig today and this is not dirt, it's makeup. I'll explain to you guys later, but yeah, I'll see. So I'll be wearing this um neon cop shirt from the fix these skinny jeans from edgar's my casio watch and my name necklace from so Feel. and then you guys can pair these with any shoes you like if you're actually going out um and you're off quarantine now like some sneakers some black sneakers probably or something to match the top but like Technically, I'm not going anywhere right now, so I'm just gonna wear some sandals because I'm just at home. The outfit on. Now, um, I already applied my moisturizer, which is this Happy Max Baby and <laughs> and the sunscreen, which is SPF 50. Yeah. So next, I'm gonna apply my lip gloss because, yeah, I use this. I don't use this lip gloss all the time, but like, I really like it. It's just really sparkly and very affordable. I got it in Pip for like about 18, which I think is very affordable. And it doesn't smell like anything. I haven't gotten any irritations from it and stuff. So yeah, um, let me just move like this because I like that light there. What was that? Oh, okay. Stop it. <laughs> um, Get some help. The, the first question is my name, my age, my nationality, and my ethnicity. So, I am Kilian Gini Tomonao Lekanjimuni Hashongo. I'm 18 years old, Namibian, and Oshere Rojavambo mixed. Um, the next one is where was I born? Where did I grow up? I was born in Vintuk, Namibia, and I grew up in Vintuk, um, Pioneer Spark specifically. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is basically color my scar because I have hyperpigmentation, which basically means that there's more melanin formed there, and I just like to like make it the same color as the rest of my face, like. I don't try to really conceal it. I just like it being the same color at like at least, you know. So yeah. Um so that leads me to the next question, how did I get my scar? So I was playing with my younger brother, um ball, and I didn't want to pass him his own ball back. I know, right? I was pretty entitled. So <laughs> I ran in the opposite direction. Come in. Okay, let's continue the story. So I ran into the opposite direction, literally. Um, and I was looking at him the whole time instead of looking in the direction that I was running. So I was literally, you say, in bolting my little short self um, at the age of three. And when I turned around, like I literally slammed my head in the latch like the metal latch excuse my nails they look ratchet but anyways <laughs> the the metal latch thingy that like you see that thingy that i'm pointing at at the door like basically there's that metal flap that comes out yeah and then like i hit my i knocked my forehead against it and there was blood splatter it was just crazy i don't remember it but my uncle describes it like that and he says he was so scared the whole time like he really thought I was going to die or I had brain damage and stuff like that, which fortunately I don't. 
um yeah but like all my life i just remember having this car and you know the funny part of the story is when i got to the this is a whole story you know it's just a joke so i got to the hospital i was rushed there and my mom says this nurse was so like I don't know she was not gentle with me at all bro she was there like stabbing my forehead trying to like stitch everything up and i'm like oh my god like each time she tells me the story it's like a cringe fest i'm like why would she do that like she literally was like stabbing my forehead she was so fast about everything she went like three times and then she was done so i literally have like i can tell where she stitched me up and stuff you know and then the next day i'm there uh, I went to my brother's room and I'm like, oh, Tutu, can we play again? I don't even know how I recovered so fast, but apparently that's what happened. My brother says that, but maybe his memory is faulty. My memory is all the way faulty. I don't remember it. I just have pictures of what I think happened, you know? So I'm not too sure if I can even trust my memory right now or if I'm having the Mandela effect, you know? But like, yeah. You guys should go check out the Mandela effect if you don't know what it is, but it's like hella interesting. So let's get into the next question um schools i attended so i attended vinduk kindergarten in the uh, pre-primary school and then um in my note that was my primary school and then delta secondary school and then livingstone Colabeng college in botswana for my last two years and now i'm at the university of namibia yeah so that gets that that leads me to my next question which is what am i studying um and why am i studying it okay so guys i don't do too much like i just dipped it into this little foundation thing that i got from my mom because i don't really wear makeup but as you guys can see i just like i just paint it like this and guys please excuse my brushes and stuff they're fighting you know but like I didn't really bring makeup because I knew that I was going to be quarantined so I didn't bring my makeup or my makeup brushes and I don't really put on makeup anyways I'd be lying if I said I put on makeup every day like this is basically what I do every day or when I have time really to but like yeah so that's it but like yeah so I am studying chemistry um no I have a bachelor's in chemistry medicinal honors um and i'm studying this because i want to branch into medicine next year and um my career goal basically is i want to be an ophthalmologist the reason why i want to be an ophthalmologist which is basically an eye surgeon and optical medication prescriber um is because when there's this holiday i went to the north in I have a like my family is known for getting cataracts in their old age so a lot of my older aunts and uncles have cataracts and some of them are even blind because of it like that's the extent it's gone to and so i searched it up um and i'm like you can actually perform a surgery to remove cataracts and it was just so sad because i was thinking like these people can't see the beauty of life they can't see the young toddlers running around they can't see the blessings the lord has given us because of cataracts which can be removed via surgery it's not like you're permanently blind it depends on the extent and stuff like that and from that day onwards i was like i'm gonna become an ophthalmologist and i'm gonna make a whole lot of money <laughs> and save the money um obviously like what minus my expenses and my own little stuff then i'm going to use that money to basically perform free surgeries um in the regions that i decide to but like that's something i really want to do i really want to become a philanthropist in that sense like uh, it would bring me so much joy so that's why i'm studying um what i'm studying in those are basically my goals okay so the next one is um a secret talent i have i have my questions on a booklet down there so excuse me if i'm looking down but yeah um but like before we do that let i want to show you guys a really cool hack okay so basically i saw this little trick and it's called the soap the soap um brow yeah the soap brow so basically you use like a little spoolie the spoolie had a stick body thingy once before but it doesn't anymore so 
I'm moving on. <laughs> but basically, you're gonna use a wet spoolie. It already has soap in it. Um, so yeah, and then you like kind of scrape some of the soap off the surface and just scrape it, scrape it, and then you push it down because you don't want all of the excess soap, okay? If that doesn't work, oh, I think I got some soap on my thingy. If that doesn't work, you can squeeze it out with your hand like this, your finger, and then you just, and then you just brush your eyebrow up. Um, it's, it would be ideal if you use a transparent soap bar so that you don't have white residue like I do right now. But yeah, so basically I brush my brows up. This actually acts like a brow gel. And then I just brush the top like that. You see there? And then the side. Now we're gonna go to the next brow. Repeat the same steps. Guys, my brows are not twins. They're sisters. So please, don't judge them. <laughs> but like, yeah. So that's what I do. I just brush up and then I brush down. And I was like, I was watching the video and the whole time I'm just like, this is not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Um, rub the the excess off in a in a tissue. It's not gonna work. And it actually worked. And I was like, what? Now you use um mascara basically. This you, I'm just gonna put the excess in there because you don't wanna use too much and have like some black lines. On your face especially if you don't fill your brows you can still fill your brows like the tail if you want to but it's so unnecessary for me right now because i'm really not even going anywhere this is just a little get ready with me and this is what i do when i go to school like university like i just started the soap brow thing now found out about it while i was on quarantine but like this is what i would roughly do on a day-to-day -day, just comb my brows with a little mascara brush and yeah oh my word it looks they just look so fluffy like i don't know how i i just guys i don't i don't know how to explain it but yeah so um yeah so secret talent i, I don't think it's a secret but i <laughs> also don't know if it's a talent like i wouldn't say i'm a professional singer or like of course i'm not but i don't <laughs> i don't know if i'm good at it like really really good at it but like yeah i'm gonna try singing for y'all now i'm just pushing my lashes down because i'm about to put on my full c's which are extremely long but i'm excited to see what they look like i've made up my mind no need to think it over if i'm wrong or i'm right no need to look no further this ain't lust i know this is love oh. i forgot the rest of the lyrics but let's just skip to the to the chorus should i give up or should i just keep chasing pavements even if it leads nowhere or would it be a waste even if i knew my place should i leave it should I give up or should I just keep chasing pavements even if it leads nowhere? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. So now I'm just gonna pop a wig on. Yep. And boom. Am I a catfish? <laughs> um yeah so let's answer the next question am i single or am i taken i am taken i am in a relationship yeah so just place this at the right area like basically where your forehead starts don't put it too much in front or too at the back but like yeah and we're basically gonna tie it down with this because you don't wanna make it look like you have a whole helmet on i don't really know how to like completely style wigs and all of that so guys please don't come for me but like i do what i can and i'm just showing you what i would do so yeah and then i place some silicone in it but yeah so i am taken and then someone asked um 
for a boyfriend how did how did i meet my boyfriend basically and that will be in my boyfriend tag if you want to see that subscribe and just stay tuned because i will film it as soon as i get back to them and all that so just stay tuned if you're liking this video so far and you haven't subscribed i mean what are you doing what are you doing go and subscribe why, why why do you want to be that person why do you want to be that person that just watches my videos and doesn't subscribe come on don't be shy <laughs> go and subscribe comment like share i will appreciate it all i'm not gonna be like oh look at who's following me no no we don't need that negativity here i'll appreciate your support whoever you are so please do do that but yeah so the next thing is languages so um languages that i know hmm. i know five languages i would say i'm a mess i'm a jack of all traits a master of none <laughs> um yeah i'm almost a master of english though but like yeah not really i wouldn't like to say master master because like i mean you guys can hear my english like seriously but like when i try i try and it's not too bad so yeah um so i speak English, Oshiriro, Oshwambo, Afrikaans, and German. So those are five languages. Um, I would say that I speak them at different, like, they're not all fluent, basically. I'm not fluent in all of them, but I would say that I speak those five languages. I will be able to carry a conversation in those languages and semi-communicate with people in those languages you cannot gossip about me in those languages probably in german yeah you kind of can but the others you really can't gossip about me like i will be able to tell what you're talking what you're saying so yeah um the last thing we have to do is put the lashes on i'm not really good at putting on lashes but guys i'm gonna do this for you i'm gonna do this for you we're approaching the end of the video but there's still like a few more questions okay um how would i describe my style i would say that it's eccentric it is just it switches up i wouldn't say that i am like a baddie type of style or i have like a gothic type of style it really switches up according to my mood so that's why i'd say it's eccentric because one day i'll be dressed like a goth one day i'll be dressed like a baddie one day modest one day african one day you know it's just it's all over the place because i feel like i don't know like i've i did art um for a long time like throughout my primary school to high school i've been doing art so i feel like it gave me a very artistic form of expression and i never really like to just put myself into one box like i'm always all over the place with everything that i do it's just I don't know it's just how i am so yeah i say eccentric um my siblings i have three siblings i have two younger sisters and an older brother Tulonga and my two younger siblings are poppy and wapi my my brother is my biological brother and then my two younger siblings are my cousins which my parents are official guardians of so yeah um and then pet peeves pet peeve is like for me my pet peeves are people who just so negative like i hate negative people like you're oh my word they just can't see the light in anything like if you're a friend of mine you're just always negative you're probably not even a friend of mine you're probably just an acquaintance i'm like <laughs> um yeah and then a life goal of mine would basically be um Sorry guys, I'm trying to find my glue. So I'm going to use this kiss glue to put the lashes on. I got these mink lashes. Okay, let me actually get the cover so y'all can see. I already took one off. I kind of cut them though. Yeah, so you see that? I kind of cut them just to make them a little bit more sparse and stuff. Anyways, a life goal of mine would be that I just want to be happy, financially stable. And content with my life that is a huge goal i feel like i have to put my lashes on off camera and then i come back five minutes later okay guys so i got the lashes on um and that's about it for my get ready with me um as you can tell i don't really wear makeup so 
I don't know but I will have a video like that in the future when I kind of learn um just for you guys but yeah this is the most I've ever done like these lashes are so long and extra <laughs> I don't even know how to feel about them like I feel cute but I feel so extra like I can feel them touching my eyebrows <laughs> but yeah so let's just take this off so y'all can get like so y'all can get the final look. Hold up, hold up. Okay guys, so that's the final look. And if you got to this point of the video, thank you very much for watching. I highly appreciate you. And yeah, join the Sunflower Squad. I'm gonna say it again. If you guys haven't subscribed, if you haven't commented, liked, or shared, please go do those things. Do not hesitate. And yeah, I appreciate you so much. This is Sunflower Tilly officially signing out. But don't worry, I got you, girl. I'm gonna add pictures, sun kiss pictures, and some cute little short videos at the end so you guys can get like a whole glimpse of this look. But yeah, Sunflower Tilly officially signing out. What's that on that mean? Oh.